hello everyone so in the last video we have completely seen uh, how we can uh, uh, upload a program to the Arduino and we have seen already seen how we can um, I mean we have already seen uh, this full context of this code <coughs> and uh, each and every line we understand now right so and even I have shown you in a Tinkercad uh, <coughs> simulation pro uh, what you call platform uh, what actually happens right the simulation happens so I hope you might have tried it with your real Arduino with the mega or you know or whatever you have uh, with an LED connector and a bling right so that is not a big deal at all just have to make the connections upload and uh, let's say upload then it works <coughs> now we will see a very very important part on this scenario where most people might make mistakes and some people even wonder why my code is not working right due to some issues right so let's say I, I just want to ask you a question simple question if I write a code in my Arduino programming language let's say uh, in the interface let's say <coughs> I am writing um, digital write okay and some something right uh, or so some code let's say line one something I'm writing something in the line one then another another line of code in the line 2 it can be digital write or digital read or anything right another line I am writing I am writing line 3 okay so my question is <coughs> let's say line 2 is implemented okay or running at a particular moment then the program moves to the next line line 2 the question is what is the time difference between the implementation of line 1 and line 2 is there really a time difference or oh, even though it is running one by one there is no time difference so what is your opinion on that or oh, from line 2 to line 3 so let's say the program is running the line 2 and then it's moving to line 3 how much time it takes between both okay so this is a very important thing because because I will tell you why right because you, I, I will tell you understand why it is because why because it is important <coughs> okay let's get into this and see okay so let's say you all know first this will run void setup block will run and whatever you write within that void setup block will be running and then void loop will run and whatever you write within that void loop block will be running okay so let's take a time <coughs> at zero right let's say uh, the time is zero that means starting time so the first line will run as you all know at t is equal to zero okay so then it will get into the other block and that will run the next line line number six so my question is how much time will take from running this one and this one in between will it be one second or two second what is that any idea on that so I'm telling you it is also t is equal to zero that means to the Arduino to go from one line to next line you can say there is no time difference <coughs> it is actually this is that much fast it is like the time difference between you switch on a bulb you, you press a switch on and seeing the light is on so let's say you are pressing a switch and the light is becoming uh, let's say illuminated right what is the time difference between that there is almost no time right when you press at the very moment the light is on when you press at the very, very moment the light goes off so the pressing and the lights response has almost no time difference right like that this coding or program running from one line to another line has almost no time difference okay you can't even measure that okay so this line and the next line will happen at the same time I just want you to understand this actually program is running line by line first this line is running then next line to this line is running okay the code is going from this line to this line the program is going from this line to this line that is correct but it is going in a very fast manner that there is no time difference if it is t0 the next line also will be t0 the starting time okay then let's see what is the what is the starting uh, line of this time of this line number seven as i said you there is no time gap, gap between one line to another line because the program is that much fast the processing is that much fast okay so this delay also will start at t is equal to zero okay so from this line to this line no time gap and from this line to again this line no time gap right okay you get the point right so then 
you see we manually give a one second delay in this line that means we are asking the program to pause for thousand millisecond or in other words we are asking the program to pause for one second in this line delay please please delay please delay in this line for one second we are manually asking so the program is holding here it is not moving away it is just stopping everything and staying here at the same uh, whatever it has done is done and it is staying at the particular uh, let's say line for one second then it will move to next line so since we are manually breaking the code code flow for one second the new time of starting time of this line 8 this line is obviously after one second that means t is equal to 1 because this is starting time is t is equal to 0 starting time and then since we manually give a one second gap the next line will start at t is equal to 1 you get it okay then from this line to this line as i said again there's no gap okay so this also will happen at the same time what is the time one okay let's say you can say if it is 12 o'clock it is 12 o'clock and one one second okay so at the same time this code also will start okay i will put it uh, space t is equal to one okay so this is the time this is not the gap this is the time okay let's say this is i say repeat this is 12 o'clock this is 12 o'clock this is 12 o'clock one second t is equal to one means okay then what will happen is again this code will repeat right because we know this block is going to repeat because that is a functionality of void loop block okay so again the code from this line to the code will come to this line from line number nine to line number nine to line number six the code will move the, i mean that program will move <coughs> okay <coughs> so tell me the second during the second iteration of this block void loop okay after this line is implemented when it, it is coming to this line tell me what is the t value <coughs> okay you can see this line when it is starting t is equal to 1 but again in this line we are manually holding the program for one second okay so one second will be spent on this particular line on purpose okay so that one second finishes at the very moment the code will go to this line line number six get it so when it is passing one second and when the t become two seconds the code is immediately go to the next line and you know from one line to another line movement will take almost no time okay so at exactly the two seconds this line will be implemented okay so again the next line will also start running at t is equal to 2 because no time is going to take again there's a one second particular what you call purposeful delay so this will be t is equal to 3 okay again this will start at the same time this delay line is t is equal to 3 then again we are holding it in that line for one second so when the program at the third iteration the program will again go to line number six it will keep going right so it will start at t is equal to four you understand guys so this flow is going to happen and i want you to remember this thing because this is very very important this time gap to understand some particular scenarios and even to debug the code in a proper way okay guys then thanks for watching i will catch you up in the next video as the following of this tutorial so guys please consider subscribing us and thanks for watching again and stay safe